Projected, Washington State wins 15-1 with scoring more than 65 points. Who will take the place of Ryan Mallett as Michigan's starting quarterback is the least of Rich Rodriguez's problems right now. The Wolverines' new head coach is trying to clean up his reputation a bit better than he attempted to clean up his office at West Virginia, in which he discarded and shredded files and documents which were kept in the Mountaineers' football office. For the first time since his messy departure, Rodriguez went on camera for an emotional conversation with our George Smith. What's the best part of being the coach at West Virginia? At Michigan? <laughs> <laughs> well, the best part about being the head coach at West Virginia is that I knew the lay of the land, uh, that there were great people in the state. Uh, the fans were very passionate. We had a great group of boosters that just supported our program. And, and uh, I thought the camaraderie amongst our players and our coaches and the fans was tremendous. So I think that, you know, the people bought into what we were trying to do in our football program. They supported us, and they supported uh, our program each and every year. And, and uh, I certainly can't thank them enough. Ultimately, why did you take this Michigan job? First and foremost, because it's the University of Michigan. And that uh, if you ask, again, if you ask anybody that, you know, uh, name some of the best universities or the best college programs in the country, Michigan is in the conversation. It's a great place. We did a lot of positive things at West Virginia, and it was a very painful parting, I'm sure, and it still is. You know, this has been unprecedented how much uh, media coverage this has happened and, and uh, the, I guess, the daily attacks and, the, and uh, some of the things that my family has to endure. You know, and I can take it, but it's a shame that my family, my kids are, um, my kids are 11 and 9, you know, uh, I wish some people, and then again, the majority of people have been great. Majority of West Virginia people I've seen, I've seen on a recruiting trail, I've seen a lot of West Virginia people. They've been, they've been super. But I wish some of the people that, that are ignorant and that uh, don't know or don't care what they're, what they're saying, what they're doing, would see what it does to uh, young people that had no impact in this thing, in this decision. My kids are 11 and 9. They shouldn't have to endure things like that. My nephews and my nieces. You know, to put a death threat on them because their uncle changed jobs? Give me a break. This week, Rodriguez and his staff had their first big test. They signed four recruits on the ESPN 150 list, but the top player on this list, quarterback Tyrell Pryor, is still deciding if he's going to play for the Maize and Blue.